everybody what's up it's Donna Noplimo the nurse and registered Everybody, what's up? It's Donna Noplimo, the registered nurse and licensed soccer coach here in the Philippines. And as you've seen from the previous video that I posted, the Q&A portion, um, yeah, I inserted there some few comments about uh, the status of my working condition. And uh, yeah, this is it. So as you all have known, I have worked in the uh, infectious disease area of the hospital for one week and did uh, two weeks of quarantine uh, one full week in the hospital as the protocol in the hospital uh, states and on the second week i went home on a wednesday so i could prepare for another week of uh, work in the hospital but uh, things change. Uh, some policies have been different from the last time I went on work and now us emergency room, us registered nurses in the emergency room have to go on rotation in the uh, infectious area. So for every two weeks of hospital schedule, I mean work schedule, we will have around two or three times that we will be assigned on work at the infectious area or the ER2 as we call it and then to the shift ends we go home so no need for us to stay in the hospital for the whole week and then do the quarantine so yeah that's the that's the new policy right now and yeah to me it's great news I could come home every time and not have my parents worry about it uh, the parents also are happy about it because uh, they don't have to ask me for updates every time because they see me get home after every work and then like that that's that's a better the only downside to it is that I go home every day and uh, just like before I went into one week hospital stay, I there's that there's that fear of putting them at risk. If ever I contract that virus, so yeah, I I have to be extra careful. Uh, just like before, I have to constantly monitor myself and my folks here as well. But. I think that's uh, something that I can do, something that's very plausible and uh, I don't have to worry much about it as well. So I won't keep you guys long, that's just an update, that's what I'm going to put on this vlog. So yeah, I also heard that the ECQ might be lifted, uh, I just heard the news this afternoon on the large cities in our province of uh, Cebu are going to do mass testing and it's going to be the determinant if ever we're going to continue the quarantine or they're going to lift it so yeah fingers crossed hopefully we make the right decisions for everyone's welfare I hope they don't lift it too soon and at the same time I'm also waiting for the day when can slowly ease back into the regular lives that we live. I also haven't seen my girlfriend in more than a month already. I, I, I do miss her a lot as well so yeah, I hope that the quarantine is lifted as soon as possible but I also don't want them to lift the quarantine prematurely so we won't have a relapse we won't have a second surge and uh, with that surge maybe we won't be as prepared for it than we are right now because if, if that virus gets in and spreads fast then we might not be able to control it 
so that is it that's the update for now uh, enjoy the great lighting behind me it's um, two minutes to six in the evening right now and it's the last day of April Sun may be up right now but every morning for the past few days it's been raining the dry season is almost coming to an end we're at that transition point in the seasons are not going to pretend uh, Philippines has only the wet and the dry season so no winter spring summer and fall just wet and dry so that's it hope you all stay healthy and stay safe and stay indoors go out uh, only necessarily and um, I hope you're all doing well mentally and like and subscribe to my channel don't forget that and that helps with your physical and mental well-being as well and um, you can also look at my other videos if you really want to stay sane and sh uh, share your thoughts on the comment section below if you want to and other than that thank you all for watching and all in this together. Peace.